in the bag. No, you're your bag, aren't they? No, they're not. Don't wind me up. Well, they'll still be in mine then. Well, why would you see it in your bag? Don't. Cold. Birmingham Airport, another early one today, flying to Berlin via Amsterdam with KLM. Honestly, I didn't sleep last night. Like, we stayed at the um, airport hotel, just literally across from the terminal, and I maybe had like one or two hours sleep, like the worst night's sleep I've ever had. Like, oh, honestly, I just feel terrible now, but we'll catch up on that later. Um, but yeah, we're just heading to the gate now because they're boarding. The flight leaves at like 6.15. So yeah, we'll check in when we're back on the flight. How did you sleep last night? <laughs> I didn't. I literally had like maybe an hour. It's honestly like maybe even less than an hour because I... Uh, I literally, I, was, I couldn't sleep because we didn't have the fan, did we? So I usually have, used to sleep with a fan on every single night, but they didn't even have aircon in that hotel. And, um, yeah, so I had the, just had the window open. I literally woke up at like one o'clock, I just jumped out of bed, I was like, crap. I was like, what's the time? Like, and I, literally, I thought, oh, we've got to go up in five minutes, check, it's one o'clock. I've done the same at two o'clock, three o'clock. I kept being like, oh no, we're gonna, I was gonna miss the flight. Honestly, worst night's sleep ever. I'm gonna say I thought we needed to. Also, on behalf of your first officer, Sonder van der Vlies, welcome on board. And in a few moments, the cabin staff will introduce themselves to you. It is uh, now five minutes before scheduled departure time, and we are as good as ready for departure. Once we get the OK from air traffic control, we'll have the aircraft push back, start up the engines, and then taxi out to the runway for takeoff towards the south. During this taxi out, the cabin staff will entertain you with a fascinating demonstration regarding all flight safety equipment on board this Boeing 737, for which I ask your undivided attention. The expected flight time will be 55 minutes, and that should lead to an on-time arrival at Skipple Airport. Wish you a very pleasant flight. You made it to Amsterdam. First leg done. Alright, so just done the uh, 55 minute flight to Amsterdam. Just got to find our gate and then head to the uh, head to Berlin. I wouldn't even know what I was seeing, would there? Where are you sitting? In front of me again? 14. Yeah, in front of me. Yeah. yeah. Good evening, and I'm your person on this flight. On behalf of Captain Kivit and his entire crew, we would like to welcome you aboard this KLM flight towards Berlin. The flying time today will be 55 minutes. And I would like to send a special welcome to our Flying Blue and Sky Team members. And we would like to start with some instructions to ensure your safety on board.
We made it anyway. Try and spot the non German car. What? Try and spot the non German car. It's literally just, literally just Mercedes, Audi, Volkswagen, BMW. Oh, there's a Jeep. Oh, a Jaguar over there. See, all the taxis are just Mercedes, aren't they? Do us. There's our bed. Okay then, so obviously we are in Berlin now. We actually just went to the hotel, dropped our bags off. It's not time to check in. We're gonna wait till like three o'clock. But from what I can tell, the hotel looks pretty nice, so um, we'll gladly wait until time is time to check lobby. in. Yeah, it looks very. Bed in the lobby. It looks quite nice though, don't it? Like oh, nice and clean and whatever. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna go to a supermarket now, get some essentials like toothpaste, water, um, little snacks, and then I think we're gonna go buy some lunch somewhere, but it's kind of hard to navigate your way around here because obviously everything's in German, and um, yeah, they don't really have too many English, okay. trans, English translations. So yeah, we'll have to... Uh, try and find out where as best as possible but yeah I'm gonna check with you guys when we actually get to the hotel and explain about the whole getting here and um, what I thought about the KLM flights as well so Ooh. I'll see you then stay tuned for that four people fit in here that's fit four people in here What do you think? What do you think it's going to be like? What, the hotel? Yeah, well, the rig. Welcome to my crib 2018. <laughs> Alright, guys, so it's actually uh, about, was it about six now? Six. Yeah, it's about six o'clock now. We came back from the uh, supermarket just got some like fruit. Yeah, we've got fruit, water, and these little yogurt things just to have for lunch. And then we uh, managed to check into the hotel. Um, I'm going to show you around the room. Um, but we actually had like showers, then had like a, a little nap. I feel really terrible now though, because um, when you haven't had a proper sleep and then you have a nap, you just feel like even more tired when you wake up. Um, but yeah, I'll show you around the room real quick. Actually, very nice. It's like really modern. And obviously, it's it's a bit of a mess now because we've just chucked our stuff everywhere. But it's a little wardrobe thing. Everything here is literally like touch. Like, you know, there's no light switches. All like modern touch touch things. Yeah, it's a little. Uh, oh, this was this was the mini bar. Obviously, it's got. Um, a few little drinks left, but we we just drank the rest. No, it's just, I'm just joking. It's all in there because we want the fridge space. Free bottle of uh, Merlot, which we won't drink. Is it actually free? Yeah, it's got to be in it because it wouldn't be left out if it wasn't. And uh, yeah, TV, bed, comfortable bed. This is the um, bathroom. Very nice. Love that shower, I love those shower heads, they're, yeah, amazing. Yeah, nice bathroom, that's pretty much, pretty much all there is to show, to be honest. Um, 
I'm going to go downstairs. There is actually like a gym slash spa slash jacuzzi and whatever else downstairs. So we're going to go and check that out. I'm going to have a quick low workout because, yeah, I'm still going to be training while I'm out here. I only like real quick workouts though. So I'm going to go and check out that. I'm going to come back up and I'm going to have a little snack to eat. And then, um, yeah, then I'm going to go little back. Snack? Where are you getting the snack from? From you? Nothing here. I'm rolling, rolling on a river. Oh. Okay, so we haven't managed to get downstairs yet, but I thought it'd be a good opportunity before we fall asleep later to talk about the flights. Obviously, um, I'm going to kind of make this a little review on KLM our experience with it anyway so i think like it was about a month or two ago now we th we flew to rome with jet 2 and i made a review video on them can you see me i made a review video on jet 2 you know my experience whatever like on board the flight and um I was just like being completely honest, completely transparent, and a lot of people were just like, what do you expect, like you've had a bad experience, but what do you expect with like a budget airline? And you know, I can only compare an airline to ones that I've flown with in the past. KLM, I have flown with those in the past, um, but I've never like done a review on them. So this is my general thoughts. Um, what I think with the uh, flight experience. I'm just going to say, our flight to Rome with Jet 2 costs more than the flight with KLM to Berlin. And we had to have two flights here as well. So, um, yeah, whether or not, you know, you want to call Jet 2 a budget airline, even though KLM is supposedly not a budget airline, but it was actually cheaper. I don't know what you want to say about that. But... General flight experience, very, very good. Uh, the only bad thing is we didn't get to sit next to each other. We left it pretty late to check in, so we had to just sit like, um, you know, in front and behind each other. It wasn't long though. No, but it was like two like 55 minute flights, so it honestly wasn't bad at all. Um, but the amazing thing is that they give you a free drink and a little snack box on a 55 minute flight. Like, you do not expect that at all was on the Jet 2 um, flight for the uh, best part three hours, didn't get anything. You like, had to pay for everything, any extras, anything like that you had to pay for. Do you not think though that's just like a typical UK based... I guess so, Because yeah. like Thomas Cook, I had to fly into LA 11 hours, I had to pay for all the drinks. I guess so, yeah, but you know, I'm not, I'm just not a massive fan of these airlines where you have to like you buy a basic ticket then you have to pay for everything like you have to pay to choose your seat and you have to pay for any drinks and you have to pay for like you know you have to pay for go to the toilet <laughs> like, it's, they're just they're just not um they're not who i want to be flying with but yeah KLM very good you get we got like a snack um box and a drink on both flights on the second flight i don't know if he was like we had like business style seats, but like I had so, so much leg room. Um, so that was obviously ideal for me being like nearly six foot four with very, very, very long legs. Um, I'm not comfortable at all flying, but I just get on with it and, you know, do the best I can. But yeah, good experience with KLM. Would recommend flying with them. I think we're actually flying with them to America uh, next year in March time So uh, be looking forward to that, but yeah, if you're thinking of flying with KLM Would recommend them, you know, you're probably gonna get a snack and a drink included on whichever flight you're flying with uh, but yeah, if I um, Had to say, you know Being up there with the some of the top airlines like you know Emirates and Etihad and all the rest of it British Airways um, I'd, you know, I'd put KLM up there with the economy flights as well. So, yeah, that's my thoughts. Obviously, we're eventually going to get downstairs at uh, one point. 
and uh, I'm gonna go to the gym so carry on watching the rest of the vlog and I'll see you in a little while were you not going to mention about the seats? Uh, I promise this is going to be the last point that I completely forgot a girlfriend just reminding me. The seats on the KLM, so much better as well. Um, with like Jet 2, Ryanair, all the rest of it. The seat is just like cardboard, they don't even recline. These seats were comfortable and they did recline so that's another plus point. I promise that that's going to be the um, last thing I want to say about KLM. Who do you think you are wanting a reclining seat? It's not 1980, you know. You don't want someone. You don't want uh, someone's lap. I mean, <laughs> someone's head in your lap, do you? <laughs> Some people. Okay, and so real quick, this is the gym. Obviously, it's only a hotel gym, so it's not going to be the best. But there's a treadmill, flat bar bar bench. Can't complain about that. Smith machine, dumbbells up to 30 kg, uh, exercise bike, and then some cables. Pretty much everything you need to get a decent workout in. Uh, I'm, like, like I said earlier, I'm training lower, um, so I'm probably going to do some leg press. Uh, well, attempt to do some leg press with the Smith machine, and then do some remaining deadlifts with the dumbbells. And then I don't know what else I'm going to do. Okay then, so five sets of leg press on the Swiss machine. This is about like 50 kg each side. Had to have the girlfriend to give me a hand though because when you lift it up and twist this thing round, it just slips back and just racks again. So I had to get it just to hold it so it don't rack. Then I've done three sets of remaining deadlifts. I've done two. With the dumbbells, just the heaviest dumbbells I do is like 30 kg, so so like two sets of 20 with them. Then I'm doing a set. Just thought I'd try it out with the barbell, but don't really get on with it. It's pretty hard to go heavy, like for high reps on the barbell, unless you have like lifting straps or at least chalk, um, especially like with these bars as well, because it's. They're like the shiny part in the middle, so um, wide. You have to like grip it really wide and double overhand. <sighs> yeah, we don't have the best grip. So I did one set on that, eight kg for like, I think it's like 15 reps or something. But um, yeah, probably just gonna call that, a, call that a day, call that a workout. Gonna go up, um, what we're gonna do, go in the sauna now? Oh, the sauna, the jacuzzi. Jacuzzi, I think we're gonna go in the jacuzzi and then we're going to order a Domino's, I think. No, we're going to go pick it up, we're not going to be lazy, we're going to go pick up the Domino's uh, and then have a... freezing by the time we go Probably, yeah. But, yeah. 
Decent workout, you know, literally just about you know, probably 30 minutes, but we've got one I need to get done. Done. Um, look forward to eating now. I've got so, so much food to catch up on. All I've eaten today is literally like a sandwich, a little few snacks on the plane, and then like fruit and this little yogurt thing. So, need to eat like 4,000 calories, honestly. Um, but yeah, I just can't wait to eat now. Come on. Okay, so just got done in the jacuzzi. Pretty nice, actually. Nice way to end the day, nice and relaxing. Wasn't going to film because there was another couple in there, and um, yeah, it's a bit of a grey area when it comes to like filming other people in the swimwear, isn't it? It's like, you know, shouldn't really be doing it, so I didn't do it, but yeah. It's like 8 o'clock now, I'm going to head to get Domino's, and then probably going to get breakfast sorted for tomorrow. Uh, because we've booked the Reichstag building, which is the big government building. It's quite a historic place as well. I want to go there. I remember going there on Call of Duty World at War <laughs> and storming the Reichstag. So, yeah, I want to go there for real. Um, and the supermarkets, they don't open till like 8 o'clock. And we've got to be at the Reichstag for 8 o'clock. So we're getting up at like 6 tomorrow, early start. So we just thought, you know, might as well get our breakfast sorted. Tonight, that and, thing um, we ate though was nice. Those yogurt pots yeah, and that's, all so that's, that's, so. that's probably what we'll get, won't we? And then probably yeah. make some fruit and so well, Obviously, we've got apples, but might get a little fruit pot as well because we're gonna be eating healthy, healthy eating, hashtag clean eating, hashtag healthy living, hashtag I eat clean, hashtag are you seeing me name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, let's get some dominoes. Dominoes. <laughs> okay, so just been to Audi then, and um, we're heading to Dominoes now. But I was literally just saying to Danielle, like just walking the streets at night, how quiet it is. I mean, I appreciate this isn't like a very touristy area that we're staying in, but it just seems to be silent. Like the odd car going past. The odd cyclist going past, but other than that, like, there just seems to be no one, no one out, which is very similar to when we stayed in Adelaide in Australia. Like after a certain time, I think it was like nine o'clock, there was just nobody on the street. So whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know. But um, I guess time will tell. But yeah, we're nearly at Domino's now. Very hungry. So we are back from Domino's. This is what I got. A medium pizza. It's basically like the meat feast minus the salami. And then I got a little chicken box, just wings, little chicken bites and then chicken fingers because I need a lot of calories and a lot of protein. So decent amount here. Oh God. Oh. Well, I'm very very full now that was so much food for me i'm gonna end this video here because if i don't i'm gonna fall asleep and then i'll wake up tomorrow and be like i didn't finish the video last day so i'm gonna end it now so i am gonna end it right now i hope you guys have enjoyed it i know it's kind of been all over the place and i haven't really shown much of berlin but tomorrow we've got a very busy day I want to see a lot of sights, um, so stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Like I said, if you have enjoyed it, please give it a like. Leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you tomorrow.